There's a lot of controversy around some of the goals that are targeted in ABA, like decreasing stimming. I wanted to maybe clarify things with a quick vocab lesson. ABA is short for Applied Behavior Analysis. The applied part, that means the behaviors we target are supposed to be socially significant to the person we're supporting. Socially significant. It has to improve things for the person we're supporting, not for society. If someone stims while they're crossing the street and that makes street crossing dangerous for them, then we're talking social significance. But if someone stimming is harmless and people want to target because it's different or because it bothers other people, that's not socially significant. That's ableism. The behavior analysts who target stimming to help their clients be more accepted in society, I want to make a suggestion. Instead, let's use our knowledge of behavior analysis to help teach others to be kinder and more accepting of neurodiversity. Everyone knows what the word behavior means, right? The way we use the word behavior in behavior analysis is slightly different than the way we use it colloquially. The first thing you should know about behavior, it refers to actual movement that can be observed. So being anxious is not a behavior but there might be behaviors associated with being anxious. Chewing your nails, or biting your lips, or nervous laughter. The other thing you should know about behavior is that it's not a synonym for bad behavior. Sometimes if a person has a hard day and they don't have the coping skills to deal with what's going on, they'll kick or hit or scream. Later, people will say that they had a lot of behaviors. But honestly, we all have a lot of behaviors every day. Here are some behaviors that I've already engaged in this morning. Talking, showering, got dressed, hugging my kids, sending some emails, I did a wordle. Taking my dog for a walk, I put makeup on, picked up dog poop, poured myself a glass of kombucha. It's a lot of behavior. I'm tired. So this leads me to my final point. ABA is not about getting rid of behavior. It's the science of teaching, teaching behavior. We can teach language, coping skills, self-help skills, social skills, reading, math, cooking, participation in community activities, management skills. There's even some fantastic behavior analysts that teach gymnastic skills to gymnasts. What does analysis mean in applied behavior analysis? Well, this is how we make sure that we're individualizing support. In ABA, there's no one way to get people to reach their goals. We use an evidence-based strategy, and then we look at the data to see if it's working. If it's not working, we don't keep doing it. We change the strategy. Everyone that's receiving support from an ABA program deserves an approach that's individualized to them.